Let's go live right now to our Washington Bureau reporter, Samantha Jo Roth. You are live there at the Russell Building in the hallway where lawmakers are walking by all morning long. What is going on as we look forward to what happens regarding a vote this morning? Well, Beth, this is a procedural vote to go ahead with the vote. So this basically allows the Senate to vote to end a filibuster or any kind of delay. Now, if this happens, opponents of this nomination will have up to 30 hours, which could put a final confirmation vote at around 5 p.m. on Saturday. Now, typically, a lot of Senate votes usually take about 20 to 30 minutes. So we might know a result here pretty quickly. Uh, what we're seeing happening on the Senate floor at this time, we're seeing lawmakers kind of making their final pitches, calling out and, and talking about why or why not they would want Kavanaugh to be uh, confirmed to the court here now, or not. Now, remember, uh, Republicans need at least 51 votes here to proceed. Now, while this isn't a final vote at this time, this will give us our first indication if Republicans have the votes that they need to confirm Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Now, at the center of this drama, we've really heard about these major senators talking about them all week. We're talking about Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, uh, Jeff Flake, Red State Democrat Joe Manchin. At this point, they remain undecided. Now, we've been told Murkowski was receiving a late night briefing with Republican colleagues trying to convince her to vote to yes. We know Collins has made three trips to the secure room where the FBI report was being reviewed. Now, Vice President Mike Pence, we've been told, will be in Washington, D.C. if he should need to cast that final vote uh, to break a tie of any point. It is important to know Note that no vice president has ever had to uh, cast the, the vote that could decide a Supreme Court nominee. So certainly a lot happening here on Capitol Hill. And we'll be back in another 30 minutes with an update as to what is happening here. For now, reporting live on Capitol Hill, Samantha Duroth, Spectrum News.